Matthew, thank you for joining us. A Boxing Day fixture to look forward to against Sutton on Monday. How's the preparation been for that one? It's been a good week in terms of uh, training we've got into the players. Obviously, the game against West Ham on Tuesday was needed. Terms of getting minutes into players' legs. We had a decent session today, yesterday, um, and, and we'll be in tomorrow as well. So, yeah, in terms of the preparation, albeit the weather's not been great over the last couple of weeks, with the snow and now the rain, it's, it's um, yeah, we prepared well. Yeah, I suppose you haven't had a lot of luck really with weather, have we? We've, you know, we've had that frost, so we haven't been able to get on South Water. And then just as we are able to get back on, we've had the rain. So again, we're here at Horsham. Obviously, as we spoke about, it's a decent facility. I suppose it's just almost, it's almost annoying, isn't it? When you consider that other than West Ham, we haven't had a game since almost the start of December, really. Yeah, it is. It's not ideal, but it, it kind of worked out for the best. As, as I mentioned after the West Ham game, with the illness that went through the camp in terms of the number of players and some of them, um, we're really quite ill with it for, for at least a week. Um, the, the Tranmere game being off wasn't the worst thing in the world, if I'm being honest, because um, you could tell Tuesday at West Ham the players needed to get out of the system, especially first half. I thought we were really good second half. They some really good stuff and we're really aggressive and loads of energy. So that was positive. Um, but yeah, we're ready to get going again now and ready to, to start playing games and they're going to come thick and fast. Yeah, as a former player yourself, is it sort of easier to know how to gauge your sort of busy Christmas period? Because I'm sure having yourself played under different managers, some may have had you in on Christmas Day, some may not have, same with Christmas Eve. How have you sort of been finding, sort of adapting to that and putting your own sort of spin on it? It's just what I feel is the best thing to do. The coaching staff and ultimately the players have got to feel comfortable doing it as well. So um, we've, we've planned out, and we've planned it out. Obviously there's lots of games coming up in a short space of time up until January the 2nd sorry three of them but they're in a short space of time so uh, recovery is really important but this week has been a week where we've you know really worked the players hard so it's been a, a beneficial week yeah this is what some would consider a local derby I think a few fans you know we would all clutch on a few straws to get a derby you know because we don't really have one and you know there was two very fiercely competitive games against Sutton last year I'm sure the lads have sort of expressed that to you as well I'm sure you're just looking forward, you know, we're expecting a good crowd to just getting back out there really because, as you say, we haven't had a game in so long. No, exactly. And, and like you said, it is kind of, in its own way, a, a lower local side to us or a local-ish um, a side that play a certain way and are really good at it. So it's going to be a tough game. I, I just want to see a performance that gets the crowd going. That's the biggest thing for me because we didn't do that against Hartlepool, albeit we had plenty of excuses, I'll be honest, and didn't really go into it too much after the game because I was just so disappointed. But there was mitigating circumstances in that game, 100%. There's players being sick in, at half-time in the changing room, etc. The, the, the players weren't in a great place, but that's brushed, um, um, that's pushed to one side now and, and we just got to make sure that we put in a really good performance on Boxing Day. Yeah, obviously it's, it's not making excuses or anything, is it? But do you feel like the first sort of couple of weeks for you just sort of have just come as a bit of a whirlwind on the basis that you haven't had a lot of luck you've had that illness you've had the weather but is it time now to sort of just put that behind us just look into the new year and just start looking up the table it is, it, it, it's been a whirlwind say the least and uh, you know, no matter what happens I'll always look back on this and take um, take experience from it 100% um, just from a personal point of view but in terms of yeah just moving on now really really important um, and we've got some games where we've got chances of picking up points and I'm, I'm still convinced of that, albeit it's not ideal that we've lost Lynchy and Ashley and, and James Tilly recently, that's a big blow, but um, it's, it's time for other players to come and step up now that they're at this club for a reason and it's time to show why and to be fair to them, a few of them did on Tuesday. Yeah, and I suppose finally it's just a message to say Merry Christmas to the fans and we'll see you on Boxing Day. Yeah, Merry Christmas, I hope everyone enjoys themselves and uh, it's a great Christmas day and like you said, see, see you on uh, Boxing Day. Thank you, Matty. Thank you.